welcome back to the channel guys it's Dave from Horizon Fishkeeping uh, today I'm going to do um, video one of the series of uh, breeding reps excuse me uh, basically what we did is um, I did an intro video to this this one that I'm doing today um, and I lost audio on all my footage um, which is a shame um, I haven't actually done a video on setting up this um, fry tank or fry system um, well I have but it's all been corrupt so this will be like volume one of the uh, ram breeding project um, and you'll see the stages as we go along so I'm just going to show you basically how I set up the breeding aquarium and the fry system that we've got going now um, this is like day three so if you're looking to sort of subscribe and look through the volumes of these um, the ram breeding sort of tutorial uh, then obviously volume one was corrupt so this is a video in the future for the past if you get what I'm saying um, so unfortunately I didn't I don't have the footage anymore um, I should have backed that up but I didn't so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna flip the camera around and show you what we're working with and uh, hopefully you guys can just stick around so I'll switch camera around I'll see you in a second so here we have one of the breeding aquariums um, in this one here I'm just trying to pair off some rams uh, I've got a gem blue ram and two electric blue rams in this tank. You can just see one of the guys just down there. Um, that's a German blue female. You can tell it's a female because of the spangling in the spot on the side of her. You can probably just see there, she's sort of dying around a little bit, chasing around and stuff. And also they have a shot of dorsal fin than the males do. Uh, try and get a better shot so there she is that's a female looking fat and I'm conditioning these fish by feeding them uh, bloodworms daily and also pellets if you can just see the spangling there in the dark spot if you do get German blue rams and it doesn't have the spangling in the dark spot on the side then it's a male uh, so you want one with the spangling inside the blue spot which you can just see the spangling there by spangling I mean the sort of scales as you can just see in the blue in the dark spot on the side of her um, and also they've got they tend to have a pink belly as well on the females so if it's got spangling in the dark spot and that pink glowing belly then chances are it is a female they, they are difficult to sex when they're young um, and the males won't have the um, the pink belly and they won't have spangling in the dark spot um, it'll just be plain black so this is one of the aquariums as you can see I've got a piece of slate there and I've just this is half a cup that I actually cut in half of an angle grinder um, but that works perfectly for cover you can see there's mulm on there and whatever else that's just because I'm feeding these tanks really heavy uh, there's just one of the uh, electric blue rams there if we can just get to focus there she is that's also another female and then there's a male electric blue ram just at the back there so basically what I'm doing is there's two fields, females to one male um, and I'm just trying to get them to pair off at the moment in this tank so what you'll want to do is you'll want to set up a little breeding tank like this uh, this does go far back it's a 10 gallon tank um, the temperature at the moment is 80 degrees Fahrenheit and 27 degrees Celsius to breed these rams you want to be looking at about 82 Fahrenheit or 28 degrees Celsius um, I do feed live food as well I feed baby brine shrimp daily um, and you basically want to just feed them as much as you can without sort of compromising your water quality um, and you want to keep them at a low pH I'd say probably between 6.2 and 6.5 7 is alright as well because um, basically most rams that you'll get now are bred through you know factories and that type of thing where they're spreading massive hordes um, and then obviously they, they come through at, at normal sort of neutral pH rather than the wild um, the wild caught ones I do have some wild caught ones in here and this, these are the ones that spawned for me please excuse the glass I'm having a bit of a bacterial bloom in this tank for some odd known reason but if you look back there that ram is a wild caught German blue ram and there is a wild caught female German blue ram in there also so the babies from these hopefully fingers crossed will be F1 which means that they're babies from a wild caught fish um, obviously the genetics on if you look at the side there the dark spot is just all black so that means that one's a male um, and also the high dorsal fin um, as you can see so the um, 
basically what you want to do is these two breeding tanks are getting fed heavily um, to condition the fish and if you look in the center here uh, this is three days in so if you are watching the series you will see this um, this little tank um, and how the eggs have gone on but I've just got an air stirred in there obviously a heater and the water coloration is because I've added a couple of drops of methylene blue um, and this will stop the eggs from fungusing although we did have some problems with some worms at the beginning um, I think they were eating the eggs um, so I've dosed quite heavily with salt left it for a couple of hours and removed the water put tank water back in and uh, dust methylene blue again so if we just zoom in you might just see it under the edge of the air stern there there's some white eggs there and they are obviously not fertile and underneath the air stern I've just got that a bit of an angle and not resting on top of them you can just see in between there's uh, several darker coloured eggs and they are hopefully going to hatch I will say for the last couple of days I've been struggling to keep these eggs any good but what we'll do is even if we fail with this attempt we're going to document it anyway um, and obviously we'll look at what problems we had um, hatching these eggs out I did take them out of the main tank because of the rams it was the first time going they were wild caught rams and they were just eating the eggs pretty much you can just see in between there there's plenty of uh, little dark eggs as well in between the white ones and they're the ones that we're hoping will hatch we're at about 50 hours now and they roughly take 60 hours so if we can just keep a few going then we will um, and hopefully we'll get these guys hatched out if you guys want to stick around and um, subscribe to the channel that would be awesome um, we, like I say we're going to do it on a series this video and you want to keep the air going constantly in this little baby tank here because that'll just keep the uh, water flow going round and stagnant water is no good for fish eggs so um, I'm going to love you and leave you here but yeah sorry about the um, first video on this series um, they will get better and obviously I've learnt my lesson from not backing up my data and stuff and making this video sooner so sorry about that guys but if you can stick around um, there'll be other videos for this series and um, I'll catch you on the next one peace out